Alright guys, it has turned into, imagine that, a cloudy, gloomy, depressing day. <coughs> here in the end times, in paradise here. Wrapping up September tomorrow. It is now Wednesday, September 29th, 2021. And uh, you're all depressed, collapsitarian, Airbnb host. <coughs> Up here digging these, digging my pingos, digging my pingos. And uh, so I've now decided to let the element of water work for me. So uh, what I've, I've gotten down, I would say about 20 inches, 20 to 22 inches. I'm heading well, 42 is the ultimate goal, but 30 is the minimum. So I'm about 20, two-thirds of the way to 30, halfway to my final goal if I ever make it. So uh, anyway, I'm using the old trick of uh, softening up the ground by pouring water into it. So I am carrying water. This is uh, practicing the old... Here is what's left of the old Buddhist art of chopping wood and God we have chopped our wood so we are now going to carry some water in the Lowe's bucket and uh, this is going to be my third trip of the day I get two holes per bucket I got 12 holes two trips <coughs> to carry water down and <coughs> two to go so, uh, you know, I'm just thinking, what if, you know, what if I really needed to do this? How many people on the planet have spent their day-to-day -day probably in some hot, sweltering hellhole uh, to take a bucket and walk how long uh, to fill up their five-gallon bucket for their daily allotment of water good lord I mean, I mean you know i'm doing this guys you know i'm a 62 year old white man with a bad back uh just playing at being an airbnb host and uh you know on this comfortable 65 degree day and uh you can see how far it is for me to come uh carry water so you know I'm just playing around with this just having some fun but th this would be no fucking joke uh, if it was fucking 95 degrees right now and uh, I had two hours to walk in each direction to the nearest water hole and uh just we we can't wrap our minds around it i don't give a shit how much we're doomers we cannot begin to wrap our minds around what the end times already feels like to uh what percentage of this planet and they keep keep pushing those babies out they just keep pushing them out i am fucking believable so uh, it actually gives me a chance to come up here and uh meditate by the pond now this pond uh as I've mentioned before, this is not on my property. I am 20 feet, 20 feet over my property line to this absolutely gorgeous pond. I have serious pond envy. So, uh, you know, I was trying to buy this place off the old lady down the street who owns this pond and she told me, I have more money than I know what to do with. I would not sell that pond for one 
million dollars. This pond is full of big old fish. I mean, there's there's three pound at least. Uh, I've I've seen with my own eyes probably a three to four pound bass come out of this pond. This this pond is full of bass and bluegills and uh, so there's plenty of protein up here and I can come fishing up here whenever I want to. But I don't get about this pond. So you know this pond has been here for 50 years. 50 years we are up on the hillside above my pond. My pond is directly down the hill from this pond. So you know I dug my pond last year partly because this woman would not sell me this pond. You know I went and dug my own pond last year when we were having a drought. You know it stayed up for three weeks and then disappeared. So the entire last summer this 50 year old pond uh, stayed right up to the very, very top. Uh, it did not go down one inch. This pond is fed out of this spring. This spring comes right out of the side of the mountain. Uh, this is all... I mean, you could drink that water right there. Uh, this is all a 100% spring-fed pond, full of protein, but, uh, you know, at least it's here for the end times. I Now, of course, my pond didn't dry up either this year, but uh, obviously I have serious pond envy. I feel like I've stepped into a, you know, a Van Gogh painting every time I uh, come up here. So of course, if I had bought this pond, take a wild guess what I would be doing with it. This pond has been sitting here for 50 years out here, you know, being a habitat for all of these uh, animals and a drinking source and whatnot. Of course, if I got it, uh, I would immediately, I would be up here, I would be building a fucking dock I probably have a dock and a floating dock. I would have kayaks. The next thing you know, I would be building a goddamn tiny house up here. Uh, I would have a, you know, the tiny house looking out over the dock uh, and, and renting it out on Airbnb and, and all of this shit. Uh, Fifty years of just sitting here looking beautiful with almost zero human impact and of course if I got it uh, w within one week within one day of me buying this pond I would be up here with a fucking chainsaw there's nothing that could stop me within the first day I'd be going around here with a chainsaw uh, within, within hours of getting this pond uh, and, and just going about my damn planet nibbling. So I guess this is the universe telling me to uh, leave it alone, Hambone. Leave it the fuck alone. And anytime you want to come up here and meditate, come up here and do that. But uh, right now, as much as I'm enjoying meditating, uh, but if you do go to if you do come to bugs in a jar uh, if you come up here you're certainly welcome to hang out up here and meditate and uh, be one with nature and all that but right now my pond is going to come become one with a five gallon plastic bucket from Lowe's and I am going to uh, carry some water down the hill. Oh, man. Oh. Ugh, Lord. I can get a little more than that. Oh, God. Damn it. Uh, anyway. Get out there and chop wood and carry water while you still can. My guys.